Hey, yeah. Now I'm gonna attempt to do a tutorial for you. I apologize if you can't understand me, but there we go. Right, instead of doing a portrait, I'm just gonna do an eye. Um, probably take this as long to be honest with you, because the size I've got it. But um, I was basically throwing an eye on the internet, using that as my reference. And this is my line work here. And I'm just gonna go in a layer above my line work. Uh, I don't know much about all the, the brushes and stuff. Um, so I've only been using this for a couple of weeks. Uh, but I've been sticking to the soft air brush. Um, I've literally not changed any settings on it or anything. And I have this brush here that I've made up. Um, it's basically 11 wee dots so spaced out. Um, at different pressures, so different tones throughout them. This was kind of dappling my the pores of the skin and stuff like that. Um, right, so we, I've not made up any colour palettes yet, so I'm just colour grabbing off my references. So you need to bear with me because it does take a wee bit of time rather than just having a palette. So um, I start my darkest points. This is generally going to be, I know you can kind of creases and crevices around the eye. I always start with an eye in a portrait as well, so it's not way much different. So um the back on the airbrush. Right. Um I always do the pass that you're doing quite low, like between twenty and thirty five. So you can blend over colours dead easy and, and mix them quite well. But um yeah. So pretty much just start by marking in the area. When I first started doing them, um, I done I quickly show you the Morgan Freeman. Um, take with the layers. I've done them on. But I was doing blotching, basically trying to fill up the, the colours and the spaces and stuff like that. And after about an hour, I realised that uh, it wasn't the way to go. It was a bit of a nuisance, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, I ended up changing it all up and doing it in what I found was an easier way. Come back to normal. There we go. Um, easier way is basically just concentrating on one wee, wee area until that wee area is complete. Near enough complete without highlights and stuff, and then going back to it. So, darkness. And what I find as well when you, you colour grab certain colours, when you, you're doing all the like your opacities down, it's not quite as dark, but rather than putting the opacity up and filling the area, I just go in and darken every bit in there. And then just work it in the shape. The way I've, I've done all the line work for this, um, I've marked out with the the, the kind of darker shading comes out doing stuff as well, so if you want me to do one for the, the kind of lining as well, I'll do one of them as well at some point, but yeah, so we'll work this in and then make the brush a bit bigger pass it down a wee bit and then just spread it out from there and do that so that I can blend onto it a lot easier I treat it the way I would do a tattoo, basically wash the colour across and then brush back onto it to blend the colours in the skin. Maybe a bit darker again. Bring the size down, go right in that wee crevice. Pass it up just a wee bit. It's very time consuming but if I uh, if anyone has any tips now to do this, it's a bit easier, they don't really appreciate it. Is that taking my while to do them, but yeah, it's good fun. Um, just take that colour that's right next to the, the end of the line here. I'm going to have to shift my reference, sorry. So 
Uh, nice and light. I guess it's just so you can blend on top of it with all the different tones. Where the, the edge of the reference here, the edge of the, the nose overlaps at all. It's quite pale. I'm just going to mark that in just now. Just give me a guide for the end of that bit. I saw that when we get to it though. So I think I noticed about this as well that I don't like is if you put your reference off the edge and you go to bring it back it drops it all off but again if there's a way to stop that then let me know. Other than don't put it off the edge. <laughs> then be the easy way. Blend it, let's go a little bit. Back on this side, it's a bit more browny looking. Gonna turn the tail down a wee bit. It's crazy because when you go over, over a bit to, to grab a colour, there's so many different colours in one area, even if they look the same. So you're aiming for a kind of a fairly smooth area to then texture on top of. Because although it's obviously quite a young eye, all the kind of details and stuff like that, try and grab as much of them as you can. Back up here for the darker bits again, blend it down. That so side's a bit smaller. chunk of the upper eyelid or a kind of base colour doesn't need to be smooth as long as it's in there you can use a smudge tool and put it all together at some point to look at they start properly putting in other colours and stuff but can I go across the the bottom of the eyelid or bottom of the top eyelid got a super bit of depth and shape in there. I'm going to concentrate and try to do that bit now. Got one of the darkest colours. I'm going to pass it right down. Just circle in. Move that up so you can see it a bit better. Smooth in there. Just trying to build that shape there. 
위엔 된 Pass it right down, blend it over. Bring up a wee bit. Try and grab some of that. Can I lay your bin there as well? Basically, just tapping it in, pulling it up. Just try to build that wee shape that comes up into the crease there. from there. Brush now, nice and gentle though. The pass is down there low so it's gonna be quite faint anyway but These pens are real sensitive, it's really good. And there's also some of this colour on that bit of the eyelid as well, so just down here, just above the ridge. Actually, it's quite lighter in the other as well. But you could find it a giant eye. comes right in there. Gonna bring that kind of ready colour down a wee bit more in a second. Probably need to change it from the colour grab though because it's not it looks a lot redder than it really is. Yeah make a wee bit Tiny bit brighter. There. I keep tapping on the brush, and then tapping it again through the whole way, thinking that if I tap on the actual page, it's going to draw on it, but I know it's not. I'll get there. Show that brown and just take it from there. That. Just use that to work into this this crease of the eyelid again because it's looking a lot lighter now that I've been painting next to it. I don't want to use black in it yet. I don't really want to use black in it at all, but 
Wen wie die Dark Version der Kausen kriegen. So, wenn ich mal mal mein Favorite Teacher ist, Girl, Mr. Belkowitz. He, he always says to me, you should draw what you see, not what you know. Everyone knows what an eye looks like, and then they go and try to draw an eye, but then they draw it. Oh, weird. You can't be bored in American football. Spikes coming off when you said eyelashes, but. Nice, so took us to the school, to a bridge, as I say, the school, and goes to draw the bridge from a certain angle. Where you could see over the crest of the bridge, but you couldn't really see anything else, you can see the other side before we're drawing an actual rainbow with a railing on it. I think it was the one that listened and just drew what I could see. Darken that again, almost black. Make it a lot smaller, get right in there. Yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. See, so yeah, up close it doesn't really look much, but it's in my way, it starts to look a bit like what we're supposed to be doing. Right, so back in here, that we can have one of the pinkier tones. The pass is right down like 10. Yeah, brush a wee bit of that through. The smudging tool, and I'm gonna bring the kind of dead we'll pass it down there low as well. Just bringing some of this kind of ready color out through here rather than trying to block in that, that layer a bit. Yeah, a bit bigger. There we go. Up here, way over there, just teed up a bit. Right, back to the colors in there. We're doing now. One of the kind of grey whites. So some of the detail of it. Bigger than that. Just tapping in, indicating the wee shapes of where all the highlights are going to sit on top of. I'm going to go and top these again anyway with a few layers. It's just really faintly marking it in to give you a guide. Perhaps on that ready brown. And the size right, we keep the passage down low. I'm just going to tap in. Tapping in between the kind of ready colour and then the outside of the, the drawing. Just as we go along.
rather than noisy way to draw, I suppose. But one, three years of the wee tool thing that I made on top of it with the, the kind of wee pory bits, it, it does make it worth it tolerating the noise. Starting to take shape. So we'll go over this twice. Red darker stuff, but we'll make it a wee bit smaller and a wee bit higher percentage in the opacity. And then we can use that other tool and be able to see how we made it. Yeah, right, so a bit smaller, and pass it up just a bit tiny bit, like 4 or 5 percent. Tap a wee tiny bit harder. Quite funny, I go. Um, I got my, it's my, my first iPad I've had. I got that a week in isolation, so I got it just about, just about three weeks ago now. Um, I got Procreate at the same time, the, the lasses I work with, the two of them both have them, and uh, I always use the kind of Android tablets. And um, I always was I would never get a, an Apple product. Uh, I thought we can isolation I was missing tattooing that much. I thought, you know what, I'm going to get one because a lot of tattoos use them. I'll give it a bash, it's something different. So I got one and I've, uh, I've decided it's way better than my other tablets that I've used. And Procreate's amazing. Right, so I've done that. I'm going to get a wee bit of a really pinky tone, brush size up, pass it right down, I'm going to brush from this end back, this is where the highlight's coming from, just to lighten up a wee bit more. Um, so yeah, I've, uh, I've thought I've been drawing with it every day, I've been really impressed with it. And as you can tell, I don't know much about the brushes, so I don't, don't use many of them. I've messed about with them a wee bit here and there, but a lot to learn. Forget the other one. Right, I'll show you sure that brush that I made. Right. Give it that size. Pass it up a wee bit. I'm just going to go straight in my weight. Yeah, put the pass it down actually, so we'll dead that light. Yeah, it's really small. My bad. Try that. Be mm -hmm. a bit too big. Just on a few wee touches of this. What we'll do is so. We'll I'll show you what it's like. It's basically that. I found that when you're doing kind of some types of skin, you put the kind of dimples and bumps and stuff like that, and sit and tap it for ages just as you head in. So I made one that's what, 11 times quicker. <laughs> uh, it's sad, but it works. Yeah, right. If I want a black, I'll use black. But I'll use it really, really faintly. And on the airbrush again. Should really try and move these about so they'll just up the top so I can just use the same brush over and over again. But there we go. Right, so it's really lightly in this corner. Because the pass is down dead low, it's not gonna it's not gonna make it black, but it's gonna taint it, shadow it a bit. Yeah, that's changing there. Yeah, 
changes. Maybe we should change a wee bit more like that. Basically, because it's the, the lowest below passage, you just put a film, film of darkness across it. Size up a fair bit. Water is going to go with about half of this section. Gives it a bit of skin tone. Showing the texture now. Okay, I'm bigger. I'm gonna just bring it up in this way to here just a wee bit. We will be colouring top of it, but it gives you a wee bit of darkness before I put the colour on it. Yeah. Once I go there, it's a colour done, I'll come back and do other wee kind of white highlights on it, but I'll show you how I would go about doing that. Um, so yeah, I'll try and match in some of these wee bits and shapes and stuff. By just picking wee areas and just working them. Just the way those bits look here and there. I'm going to pass it down, it's quite solid. I'm not going to do my if you want to go in and do some of the, the pupil and iris. This video is going to be over a couple of, or the tutorial will be over a couple of videos rather. So, gives you an idea of that. Um, I managed to touch that to look dafty. Right, so, I'll go around the, the iris first. Get the, the shape in. So, with the, the reference we've got, the eyelashes are quite heavy here, but I'm still going to go right through because you, you can't really see this kind of ready colour coming through here, but I'm still going to do it just to keep the shape. Yeah. Brush it in dead light. Again, I just I treat everything like a tattoo, it works from light to dark, so you can always darken something up in the tattoo, you can't lighten it up, so. Obviously it's different with this, but just the way it work. It's been around. The thing I like about this as well is that um, with other tablets, it's Photoshop we used. And uh, you can only rotate like 90 degrees at a time, and unless you change settings and stuff, but I'm not very technical minded, so I'd have to just spin my tablet. But, uh, this is moving your fingers, the tablet stays still, it's amazing. Right, I'm going to make the size that a little bigger now. Just really lightly go around on top of that. If we haze out that it's got in the reference. I've got a glove for my, my hand, but I keep forgetting to put it on. Right, so we're going to grab the, the pupil now. Grab that.
there's no pair for the round either. So right in here, bring this ray down, it's quite small, let you see that. And I'm literally going to go around the, the people making sure it's not even. That'd be a bit bigger. There's wee bumps and wiggles that stick out. It is round, but obviously there's wee bits of the pattern of the, the eye that are not totally round, so... Back to Mr. Belcourt's, so it's draw, draw what you see, not what you know. You know, your pupil round and dark, but in that picture, you can see that it's not perfectly round. It's got wee bumps and jiggles in it, so... Replicate them. Yeah, what I would do is get the colour for the bottom of the eye, or the inside of the bottom eyelid, and just brush that in as well. And then sort out this wee bit in here. I can never remember the name of. Gooey bit. See it down, you have a bigger. Obviously, the bigger it is, the smoother you can get it. I know there is a bigger soft brush on this, but I don't know. I just prefer this one. I'm going to need some darkness up here. On the reference, it's not the same colour, but I'm going lightly. It's going to help me get in that kind of shape in there as well. It brings out the wee bit of a 3D look in it. I grab one of the lighter tones of it. Grab the the not white of the eye because it never ever looks white in a photo. Behavior for your shadow areas. Because in a different layer, I can pull the um, that line reference that we've got to the front when we're doing all the nine lashes and stuff. So don't panic if you see them disappearing. We're noticing doing everything on one layer. When it comes to like here and stuff, we've been doing that in a different layer. We're doing all the actual proper colour work on the, the one layer. It's going grey around here. Do that look grey? Get a bigger. Open my bit and then push it back a wee bit. I'm going to go with the front part of this and just wait. Maybe a second. So you can tell it's not white when you look at the reference, but it's a little light of them, but this is going to end up looking, so we'll need to put a bit of 
bit of weight in it. Just to separate the, the tones a wee bit. Yeah, so it gets darker as it goes further back, so. And we'll just give a wee bit of a smudge in as well. Smudge it together. And we'll go back on the last colour we had, but we'll make it a wee bit darker. Again. I'm just going to go underneath the, the top eyelid here, a bit of shadow looking. Finish off this wee corner bit up here that we left quite light. And we can do the same again with the black. Fassies down it. So not as much difference, but there is definitely a difference there. Yeah. I'm going to grab the colour that's in there. Pass is done for a tool. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Then, yeah, it looks a little darker than what it does in the reference, but we can stay with that there. I'm gonna get one of these colors through here. Just blast some of the colour in the other night. Tie it in up here, yep, same tones. Start doing some of the colour through the, the iris. Right, so we're going to keep a uh, reflection with this. We're going to really ruin the opacity to 25, so. Um, we can go over some of this without losing it. It's all good. Still see plenty of this. I'll start grabbing some of our wee darker wool back on now. I'll do that. Yeah. Um, grab the darker stuff again. Now you can get a bit more solid with the outer line. Edge. 
couple of things just to get that hues over there. And then the same on the inside. Just a wee tiny bit. Quite light still. This section in here is quite dark, so I'm just going to darken that in. It's not going to be too dark with this colour we've got. It's not going to look too black. And there will be black in a minute though. We need to darken that right down up there. Do is I'm gonna I'm gonna come right in here. I'm just gonna pick one of the one of the browns. I'm gonna go with these lines of that brown and then tidy it up. I'm ready. Keep doing that. This pencil, my big daft fingers. Should we turn that function off? Stop me up and everything. <laughs> These bits are shadows of the eyelashes, they're quite cool. One of my favourite tattoos I've done is an eye. The kind of top of Lassie's leg near her bum, under her hip. It's a big eye with a reflection of a, it's a grin, and a wee dog. That's good fun. These lines will have different colours through them once we get to that point. I'm not going to leave them all in one colour because the, the reference hasn't got them all in one colour. So, so you yeah. roll what you see, roll what you know. Some of these, oh, that's far too thin. So when you see a lens, I'll take the way down this way. Some of these hair lines looking more like hair lines. Again, we're going to go with these as well because they're not going to be all that, just that one tone. Again, 
So I mean, the way I do it is really time consuming. So if anybody's got any advice, now you can do stuff like this a lot quicker. I really appreciate that. I'm going to start putting some of the details into the middle of the line now with this same brown. A bit bigger. We can always back up the, the people again, so don't worry about that. to lift a phone line somewhere to decide to vibrate. A bit scary. Yeah, I'm gonna redo that. I'll clean it aside there once I've finished doing this. Get a bit more detail in the, the edges first. Guys are good fun, that's all you can do with them. They're not just copying reference, you can do what you want with them, so. Weird and wonderful colours. A bit bigger, make it a lot smoother. I'll pass it right down, I'm going to make that a little easier, sorry. And I'm going to redo the outside of the virus. I'm going to have a bit darker than that though. <coughs> Got baby there and pressed on the extra screen instead of the brush tail again. The passage is still down, but I'll just retouch. Before we use it on the outside and the inside. <coughs> I 
Probably want to black again. And the pass here down to no, safety. That'll do. And I'm going to use shadow in here. I'm going to bring the shadow right back underneath the eyelid a wee bit. Down, brush a bit bigger. I'm going to use that to blend it down just a bit further. It's nice and smooth. I will use this much till again in a minute just to blend it all together, but it does seem to get a bit of a gradient going from black to white first. It's easier when you go into this and smudge it. And it's already smooth. See? Back on the brush and this side right down, pass it obviously a bit darker in here, quite dark. Nice and glass like. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab some of the wee colours from the details inside there. Alright, so I'm just gonna I'll pass it up a bit more. Just blotch in some of those wee colours that you can see before we put weight through this. Hopefully, it's another building or something like that, but. So the eye I want is to be put highlighting detailed stuff. I don't really want to do with tiny buildings, microscopic and things, so I feel like it would be easier for myself. Let's see what the colours will go in here. That's a nice colour. Greens and all sorts in there. That's a dark brown again. That's fine. I think most of it was quite anyway. Oh, I managed to put a, a line right through it. I don't know if I remember who it was. Um, I am going to just make it disappear with this budge tool. Backtracking. Yeah. Then we can take the the lines up again. Dash the highlights, no oh, low lights if you like the dark bits. And grab some more black for the pupil, tidy that up. Keeping it not round. <laughs> Grab some of those lighter looking colours. I mean, I'm even lighter. I'm 
put the pass there down again. Okay, it was high, that was three tiny bit. And just brush some of them through there. Touch of this through the, the reflection side as well. So the pounds are all just brown. This top bit here is quite dark still compared to what I've got it at. Um, and we'll have a flat edge, so we'll get that sorted out now. This bit here. I'm going to put my highlight in a different layer so I can still call this a layer date but it's just to show you some of the highlights because I like doing them Right, so Give that like that What size we got? What size? Yeah. I'm going to pass it quite low because we can go over it again Push it and then lean hard, I mean, want to be lighter. Let's go over the light, the lighter hurts. Conscious of me trying not to put my head in front of the camera, he carried away the way. Shape that a wee bit more. Resembles it. Touch very highly there. I'm going to put this wee few veins in here and by grabbing that colour, making a bit more red. Then we test the line. Yeah, no, that's fine. This is another layer though, so I'm not worried about rubbing anything off. So the highlight layer. If I 
you can see I'm probably going to put more colour in this in another video, so I don't really want to get rid of the vein once I've done it. See anyway. There we go. So that's it's an hour and a minute. So that's the it's the start of it. Probably do another video for it tomorrow night. I'll get that uploaded as well. If you want me to, that is. Yeah, that's it. That's it so far. That's how we do my portraits, but obviously we do it with an eye. But yeah, any feedback would be great. And uh, I'll upload the next bit tomorrow. Hopefully, we we'll get the the rest of the skin all finished. Any uh, eyebrow and eyelash and stuff on. Okay. Thanks for watching. Take care.